Yo, this is Junky Beats, and uh, first of all, I want to give a big thank you and a big shout out to the CBD Flower Shop for making T-shirts and sending me one. Um, they also sent me out uh, a special pack, which included a vape pen. I have got that on charge at the moment, so uh, there'll be a separate video for that. Um, the live rosin, which goes with the vape pen, pure rosin, one mil, CBD, seventy-five percent. Some CBD gummies. They also sent me um, some more nuggies. These ones are the Primo nuggies. Um, they don't always stock these. These are like uh, an exclusive flower that they get in every now and again. And they'll get those out to customers via the nuggies whenever they're available really. So they're not really available upon request. They're just kind of um, an exclusive bonus that, that enters the, their store. And yeah, so they'll be getting reviewed as well. Lemon Punch, which is uh, a strain that they sell on their website and this is what I'm going to be reviewing today so yeah let's get into it if you watched my last uh, review of the CBD nuggies you'll notice that I said it doesn't state what strain that is it's just a different strain every time well this time I've got a strain to show you and this one is the lemon punch, um, which I'm really excited to try. Um, because like I said before, I never knew kind of what strain I was smoking, I was kind of guessing. This one actually states it on the pack. Um, it's 3.5 grams in weight. The last video I did will be in the description and uh, one of the tiles at the end of this video. So you can go back and watch that, then see this review. Um, and I've got a lot more videos coming as well on CBD flower and the CBD flower shop and a couple of blog videos as well so I'll be doing a blog video after two weeks of being THC free um, pretty much thanks to the CBD flower shop and I'll be doing a four week one once I reach four weeks and possibly six weeks as well so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and then you'll catch the new update videos as soon as they land don't forget to hit the bell icon as well and you'll get notifications every time I upload a video I'd be super happy if you guys followed me on my journey. Um, this is one of the biggest things I've had to do in a long time for my own health and for my family and for my friends who deserve more of my time and attention really. And with the THC, that was getting in the way of things. The CBD has uh, reintroduced me back to the type of life I want. So be sure to follow, subscribe, share the videos, comment, any questions at all, please do not hesitate comment below and uh, I will respond to people as soon as I see the messages so thank you very much and enjoy the review so we've got the 3.5 gram lemon punch uh, this is how it arrives all sealed nicely in their sealy packets so I can just focus in on that lemon punch tea flower uh, 3.5 gram THC trace level low CBD 8 plus percent and of course, the cbdflowershop.co.uk One of my favourite websites now. <laughs> so, here we go to the unopening. Um, there will be a little catch there, can you see it? A little uh, pre-chopped piece for you to basically open the packet. And you just tear that from side to side here. So let's just get in there, there we go. And, uh, I absolutely love opening these packets to be honest. It's like uh, the seal of joy you get on a game pack. Now, the difference between these and the nuggies is the nuggies don't come in a pot, they just come in one of these bags, one of these resealable bags. There's the seal inside, so you can see. And I really like that when you do pick a specific strain, um, they come in this plastic pot to protect and preserve your flower. Uh, to open the pot, you've got these lines here, grooves even, like embossed on the side of the lid, uh, both sides, and that's where you will place finger and thumb, give a squeeze, and it pops open. And to show you, what it looks like inside. Look at that. Very good quality looking buds there. And 
Voilà. It looks delicious. Very nice and dense. Giving that a good squeeze. I, I can't even I can't even squeeze it that way. That's really compact bud. So yeah. Let's get on to weighing it. Let's just zoom in to that. So that nug there, how much does that nug weigh? That's a 0.79 on its own. Let's get the rest of the nugget. Oh, they flew out there. So that I'm actually shocked. So it says 3.5 gram. But these guys have actually gone far and beyond. They've weighed over. So guys, you're not getting ripped off on your weights at all. That is astonishing for me. Like the amount of times I've gone with uh, street dealers in the past and it's weighed under what they say. I can't complain with that at all. Let's have a new look at that. 3.89, that's well over. Well done, man. Well happy with that. That's incredible. And it's rock hard, guys. Right, this is premium. <laughs> I swear. I'm getting better buds from these guys than I actually got from the street. I love it. Let's see how it grinds up. I'm not going to use a load. Maybe two little nugs. Pop that back down. And that's what's going to go into my grinder. Tap my grinder. Nice. Very nice. Oh my life. The the, the lemon coming out of that is amazing. Honestly, I, again, I said it in the last video, if I could send you the smile through this video, I would. But again, that technology still doesn't exist. <laughs> again, I'm using pipe tobacco as I am addicted to nicotine. I'm hoping one day I might use the CBD to, to come off tobacco altogether. I mean, I've got the live rosin vape to try as well. So, I mean, if that takes off, why would I want tobacco? So, but that's, that's, that's for another time. Still some stuff in the, in the garden. It's quite sticky, this one. It grinds up really, really well. Um, I remember one of the Nuggy strains uh, ground up, but was a bit clumpy in the grinder. Like this compared to that one, which I think was Chocolo. Um, it definitely, definitely packs out the grinder. It's absolute fire. This lemon strain so far. I can't wait to uh, give it a smoke. I have noticed since I've had the CBD from the CBD flower shop that. I smoke way less cigarettes now, like way less. Uh, my nicotine intake has lowered considerably. Uh, it's almost like I forget I smoke fags now. So maybe I am on the way to eventually cutting out the tobacco thanks to CBD. But at the moment I'm strictly focusing on cutting out the THC. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And onto the smoke. Just gonna light this one up. Lemon punch. Just gotta get it going a bit. lemon's definitely there definitely there do you know what this is my nicest smoke from them so far CBD flower shop you've outdone yourselves it's just sent a nice 
sort of therapeutic wave through my body. I just want to keep on smoking it. My mouth has uh, started producing saliva and I've only had a couple of drinks. The lemon's definitely there. I mean, it smells much stronger once you grind it. Once you grind it, you're going to be like, what the hell have I just got? Is this like lemon haze or something? But it's a really strong, clean lemon, like really zesty. See how it does? Oh, it's lovely. Do you know what? My neighbour, he likes his uh, smoke and he's heavily on THC like I was. He always bangs on about lemon. He loves lemon flavoured strains. Um, I might even have to give him a phone call and get him to come around and try this on video and, and see what he thinks because he's he's a big fan of lemon strains and I really like this. I really do like this. I might even have to get my vaporizer out and try it in a vape. This is definitely my favourite strain so far. Um, my lungs feel a bit more free. I can get that satisfying breath. That's something that happens with me. I lose uh, my satisfying breath quite a lot. One of my issues in the past that I used to have THC for was I always felt like I couldn't breathe properly. Not from smoking it, I mean prior to smoking it. I'd, I'd end up having panic attacks because I felt like oxygen wasn't working. This takes that away and this is CBD. So I, I really can't see myself going back to THC anymore. As long as the CBD flower shop is open, my life's back on track as far as I feel. I don't want it to end. I've got to call my mate. I've got to call my neighbour and get him around here to try it. So I would have filmed myself phoning my neighbour, but like I film on my phone currently, so that didn't go to plan. This is my neighbour Dean. Um, how long do you live next door to me now? Um, coming up to a year next month. Okay, cool. And we smoked plenty of THC yeah. uh, cannabis together. And basically getting to know Dean, I found out that he's a big fan of lemon. So I figured he'd be the perfect guy alongside myself to actually sample this uh, 3.5 gram of lemon punch. I'm glad you found it. I yeah, forgot I'll where I'd pull it. I'll Mate, I'm just going to let you smell that, see what you think, and then I'll let you grind it up. Look, it looks identical to what you'd see through a THC strain. No. You smell it. Almost identical, if not better than what I'd get. I'd yeah. What a nice one. I've got some Apart from that chocolate. Yeah, you tried the chocolate. I tried. I did, well, chocolate. we think it was chocolate. That's the conclusion we came to. Yeah. Um, again, that's in the Nuggies review. If you go back to my previous video, uh, which will be in the description or at the end and the title screen of this video. Somewhere around here. You're already showing me up. Like I just used really rough watches. You're you're cutting cut straight cardboard here with scissors. <laughs> Yeah. Did fluff up very nice. For the size that went in there, it's, it's come out well, isn't it? Yeah, I only got a, well, half one of those nugs that you passed me. Oh, you've not had anything today? No, I've not had anything today. So you've not had any THC? Wicked. So he's going to get the full CBD impact here, hopefully. At least have you got a lot. You've got a lot with you. Yeah, it took me 20 minutes to find it earlier. I'm definitely getting, it's not like I'm, even though I've put it with more tobacco and it's actual proper brand, unlike obviously you're using a, like a, a pipe, substitute. It's a pipe tobacco what yeah, I use. Yeah, like almost like a substitute. Yeah. I gotta say, it is very chilling. I could probably smoke this substitute to what I do smoke. I'm getting... I don't know if it's the feeling of having a suit or I, I get that feeling in my head though, I'm I'm calm. Yeah. Freeze up my chest. 
really well. Mm. I get a very warm feeling knowing that I might have to try it in other ways by vaping it to get the full experience rather than trying to have it like you know, I'll put my vaporizers as well so we could both get on it. I've noticed the tobacco is sort of cancelling out the lemon a little. It's a bit, it's a bit overpowering. That's what I'm thinking. What the if, tobacco? Yeah. Yeah. It, even on mine, mine's a little bit overpowering. Like if it still feels like I'm having a joint within. Mm -hmm. I've definitely got a lemony taste, but I know if I have it in there, it's going to be just much more flavourful. Mm -hmm. um, so we'll do a shot of trying it in a herbal herb, herb vaporizer and see how we get on from there. Try different ways. Showed me this site and it's unbelievable. Like, I, I, I've, I've, showed, I, I've, I've showed my uncle and it, he vaporizes and obviously he's like daily and he's been smoking for as long as I've been born. Yeah, THC. THC, yeah. daily. And I showed him this site and he, he was like, I'm gonna give it a go. You'll get more of the, the flavor profile. Yeah, the flavor, from, flavor sure. from doing the vaporizer rather than the smoking. Chocolope, I did in a vape last week, mate, and I was just, wow. Really nice, the chocolate was in a vape. Um, something guys I've noticed with this, you get quite a, a spicy hit. It's like a spicy lemon to me. Um, I don't know if you're finding that at all, but it's definitely a nice hit on my throat. Um, oh, I can definitely taste all the flavor though. Yeah, the more I get down this, I can taste more of the flavour. Yeah, the more I get down it, you can definitely, the, the flavour cuts. The closer to the roach I get, there's more flavour, but literally, I'd say about, take out the top third and then the flavour starts to cut, cut through a lot more for me. How would you say you was feeling prior to coming round? Because you said you haven't even had a smoke today at all, have you? Well, I'd say I feel a little bit, a lot more energised now than what it was, say, 30 minutes ago. I yeah. didn't want to do anything 30 minutes ago. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like I could uh, probably do way more with my day now than what I could before starting uh, this review, to be honest. But I do suffer with fibromyalgia, and I woke up this morning um, really, really not doing too well. I ate something I shouldn't have ate last night that I forgot triggers my fibromyalgia. So I woke up in just a bad way. I, was, I woke up disorientated, confused, uh, slight headache. Just pain all over my body really, mainly my, my neck, shoulder and, and chest. Since, since starting this review, I've, I've literally picked up, um, I feel it in my legs. Uh, I feel free, my whole body feels free now. I feel like I haven't got any problems at all. It's actually below 0.2%, um, which is the legal amount allowed actually. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't really, it's not enough to get anyone stoned, like I couldn't, couldn't imagine anyone actually getting stoned off 0.2%. Without feeling stoned, I feel stoned. It's weird. That's probably the best way to say it. Because uh, I feel. Without, without feeling like I can't do nothing. Well, to me, stoned is I can't concentrate and I'm. Yeah, yeah, you just, In my head. I, I definitely of... feel the therapeutic value and a slight tingle over my body, but my head is clear and fresh. Like, like when they say about it, like, as you've been describing it to me, about you'll get all the medical side of it, like it will help with all these medical issues, but it won't give you the high. Mm -hmm. oh, it's liberating for me, I feel, I feel free, I feel great. Um, we're gonna myself. try the vape now. Good job you took the message when you did, I told me to come round. So, I'll get over that smile. Mm. It's definitely a lemon, lemon. yeah. It reminds me of a lemon haze, to be mm. honest. It's lemon punch is the strain, so. I'm actually now 10 days THC free, thanks to the CBD flower shop. 10 days. In the 10 years I've been smoking cannabis, I've not been able to go a day without THC, simply because of my health problems and the, the way it did help me. But again, it had some undesired effects and I could never get consistency through the different uh, strains I was getting from street dealers. We'll wait for that to reach temperature. It rises into the chamber, the heat does, uh, into where the, the bud is, and it will strip all the goodness off the plant, and we'll basically inhale through this pipe. So what, they've got some good prices going on at the minute. Yeah, they've got a flash sale on at the moment. That's brilliant.
Oh. Ooh. My mom always what that is. Yeah. That's yeah. My, my, my arms have gone really low. I definitely get what you say. I definitely get what you say with that spice. Spice. I'll get a spicy lemon. Well. Citrusy, anyway, spicy, citrusy. Hey, it's that, um. Oh, you get it in normal buds? What, what is it? Yeah, I quite like that. Definitely getting a zesty, spicy profile from that, definitely. Yeah. Plenty of vapor off it. Yeah. <laughs> Plenty of vapor. <laughs> oh god. <laughs> Mind trying a bag of their shake to try. Yeah, it looks good value. Like. It's not as premium as their buds, obviously. No, it's... but for the thirty-five pounds you pay for ten gram of shake, it's gonna last me a little bit longer than what I'd end up. Yeah. Well, not only that, if you was to get. I don't pay on the gram from the street, you're paying £100 now. Yeah. You're saving £65 straight away on what you do, spending, giving your money to the dealers. The taste is definitely stronger than it is mixed with tobacco through the vape. And I think the effect is even stronger, to be yeah, honest. Yeah, I'm, I'm feeling I'm, I'm almost feeling, like I'm on a cloud, to be honest. Yeah, well, I am high in a sort of way. Hopefully, like, yeah. productive way. Yeah, I might make a beat later today. <laughs> I'm feeling it. Definitely feeling might, it. Might actually uh, help my uh, fix his uh, electric board then. You could definitely be active. Yeah. It's not one that's like, oh, I've ruined my day. I want to go to bed now. Obviously, there is nighttime strains to have that will help relax you more, more for bedtime. This lemon punch, I'm, I'm a fan. It's definitely my favourite strain I've tried from the CBD flower shop so far, 100%. Yeah, apart from the chocolate, I mean, chocolate, I don't care about this. <laughs> he was a fan of that. That, that I don't know. I, I, I ran around to his the day it turned up. I paid for that and it came next day delivery. And uh, I had to go and show him. And you, you had a house full at the time, didn't you? Yeah, literally had a house full. You passed a bit. No, no, no. All the house full just left. You come around just as I was uh, getting myself ready to go to sleep, and you passed me some on this, and it was like, I don't know what it was. Before that, I felt stressed. Even though I'd been smoking, I felt stressed. Mm -hmm. I just felt like I weren't going to be able to sleep. As soon as you passed me that, my head hit the pillow, and I was gone. Yeah. I had to put my head against the pillow, close my eyes, and just go to peacefully to sleep. Yeah. It was nice. I always found with that chocolate that I was able to just make the decision to go to bed rather than just staying up all yeah, night. Like I actually literally. wanted to, do you know what, I'm going to go to bed. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and you actually felt good mm -hmm. putting your head against the pillow and just mm -hmm. clank I it mean, out. I say this, really this, this nice. wakes me up and makes me feel energised. I do feel like I could actually just sleep with this anyway if I was yeah. tired. Um, it's probably a good all-rounder to be honest. But yeah, it's lemon punch. There you go. Let's see what, well, let's see what they say. Ah, oh, it smells of lemon lime punch. Is that, no, it's just hence the ne lemon, lemon punch. But, well, that's why it attracts me so much then, because lemon lime's my favorite drink. Oh, really? Yeah. Couldn't go lime, I sat at my mm. waiting. <laughs> yeah. That's why you're getting the citrusy uh, zing from it. Yeah, the, the lime side of it as well. Mm. Yeah, it is a, uh, yeah, it's a haze. As you were saying. Oh, it is a haze? Yes. It's, uh, as they say, the taste is very, very floral with a sour note coming through. It has a very upli uplifting, fresh feeling, which is what we're feeling. Which is what we're feeling. What we're feeling. <laughs> we're feeling have. Has, uh, great, great for a tasty, relaxing time, which obviously yeah. we're relaxing. It's very, so the sort is very right on. Pretty much spot on. Spot on with what they're saying, to be honest. I'd definitely say this strain is well worth your time. Yeah. Uh, 
if you're into your lemon strains, definitely. If you're trying to avoid THC, definitely. If you like haze, definitely. If you like fat solid buds, definitely. Crystally buds as well. Yeah, very crystally. People would think that was THC, but it isn't. It's just a different compound in there. And I'm very happy with it. It's got 233, 233 reviews, so I'm well impressed. They're all five star. I'm, I'm giving it five star. I'm gonna give it five star. Top, top stuff. So that's the end of uh, this lemon punch review for the CBD flower shop. Um, my neighbour was impressed. I'm impressed, and I really, really think that is a great strain. Um, we, all, I didn't realise it was a haze strain until until Dean actually went through the website. Um, it just reminded me of haze in the first place. Uh, lemon haze was always one of my favourites. I've got a lot of friends that like lemon haze as well. So for me, the lemon punch, we gave it five stars out of five stars. I'm gonna give that a 10 out of 10. I really, really, really enjoyed that strain. Um, I feel upbeat, I feel ready to, I mean, the sun's gone down outside now. Um, I feel like I could still carry on into the uh, early evening um, doing what I need to do to get the video out, uh, make some music and prepare myself for the meetings ahead that I've got tomorrow. Um, yeah, amazing, amazing, amazing. Love it. Thank you.